Today is a very important day for the van. We are changing the oil before we take off. It's just like every other car. For turbo, turbocharged engines, they are a lot more finicky and fickle when it comes to routine maintenance. This thing takes 12 and a half quarts of, uh, of oil and uh, it, it requires a very particular oil for engines that have emissions control. So that's what we're doing today. This is what we got. The oil filter in this little fella is a little different than your standard filter. And it's got replacement O-rings that are vital to replace properly. Otherwise, you'll get an oil leak and you could ruin your engine. Before moving in and setting off, we made sure to knock vehicle maintenance off of our to-do list. With a little elbow grease and some help from dad, we made sure Chevere was well lubricated and ready for the road. The next day, we finished moving in and to be totally honest, we thought moving into the bus was difficult, but that was until we had to move to the van. We had somehow convinced ourselves that we downsized enough. That was until we were trying to find room for everything. And bright and early the next morning, we said goodbye to family and Tukas, the family dog and set our sights on Madison, Wisconsin. Good morning, friends. Today, it's a very different day because we normally pack and travel in small sections. We don't like to do like crazy drives, but where are we going today, Chase? We are going to visit some family in Wisconsin. Very similar to what we did uh, with the bus, our um, first stop on the road is going to be to Madison, Wisconsin. And the funny part about today is that Chase has to work. So he's going to be working while I do the whole drive. So this is going to be fun. Are you excited? We'll see how it goes. Oh my goodness. Let's get on the road. We have this tradition, a sort of responsibility. And much like our first trip with the bus, which if you don't know, we got engaged that time, we could truly set off with a visiting family in Wisconsin. To catch up on lost time and to look forward to the adventure we will share. We took a pee pee break. How would you say I have been driving? They're pretty good. The roads here are terrible. <laughs> yeah, the roads. It's are nothing pretty... but construction. Yeah, the it's true. Construction and bumps everywhere, yeah. like holes everywhere. So we stopped to use the bathroom and get some food because it's almost eleven and we haven't eaten breakfast or lunch at all. So let's take a moment to eat something and continue going. I love you. Love you. The wind is so stupid, crazy right now. And Rose is driving like a champ. Um, I've been working the entire time. It's been honestly kind of difficult. Uh, but I had to take like a quick five minute break. We've got an awful headache. And uh, yeah, we're in uh, the land of corn and wind and windmills. tired. And nearly 12 hours later, we were finally almost there. Hey, Pablo. Saludos. It has been a long day and we're finally ready to 
use this bed for the second time. Third time. For the third time. I'm so ready for it. Got his little sweater on. You know us. We're not ones to talk about the weather, are we? Shh. It's cold here. It's nice though. So we've got the diesel heater going. Jake's trying to figure out what he wants to do. We made it. We're gonna unwind a little bit. I think it's time to call it a night. We'll see you in the morning, friends, to show you our first day living in the van. Full time, yeah, we moved in. I know. We did it. He wanted to do it too. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Boop. Good morning, sunshine. What's up, sweet sweets? I wake up this morning to take the dogs out of you when I wake you up. That's very nice of you. Holy smokes, it was dark in here, but it was so dark that just the light from our diesel heater and our USBs was too much. So I hope you have some black nail polish because we gotta cover those. How do you sleep? I slept pretty good. How did you sleep? I slept pretty good. Here's the word. I don't know if you told them yet. It was in the low 40s last night, and I got up to turn the diesel heater on, and I turned it on its lowest setting, and Maria's A burned up. So A plus for insulation. It's still extremely comfy, and it's been turned off now for like 25 minutes. It was so hot. I had to put shorts on. I'm sweating. I didn't think it was that hot. I thought it was perfectly comfortable. No, it was better than being cold, but it was hot. For me, I would have been perfectly fine with no heater, but this guy over here. I just didn't want 40 degree cool air all on our face. That's not that's not good. Our body's warm, but our like neck to head freezing. That's why I have allergies right now, just because it was that way for like. It was hour. hard the whole freaking night. No, He's crazy. Diesel heater off for a couple hours. We're about to go and have breakfast with my family, and. I don't even know what we're doing today. It's raining outside, so. I'm working. Tell me about that start of first day in the van. And it's raining. The boys are mad because they cannot go outside and play. This boy over here is very mad. Is this a sweater in the wild? <laughs> So I got the Nature's Head toilet all set up today. It's ready, it's ready for us to use. We've got the coconut core. It's in there, it's at the proper levels, all that fun stuff. But, well, to be honest, I was gonna use it. So I asked Marose, she didn't get back to me in time, but uh, I did not use it. So uh, that's just coconut core on the inside of that. But the reason I didn't use it is I think she and I need to sit down and discuss the ground rules of this toilet. Oh, buckle wants up in the image. I think this is gonna be very interesting with the nature said. It's just my opinion, I could be wrong. Tell me, what are you thinking? Are you pissing me? What are you thinking? It's our luck. This weather follows us. Today to have been our first day full time in the van. It hasn't been the easiest. I think we all have been feeling a little overwhelmed because Chase is working. Uh, the dogs want to be outside, but how you saw 
it has been raining non-stop so it's a muddy mess i'm stressed because i guess i'm a clean freak i don't know and i like everything to be in one place and because of the ducks going in and out there's mud all over in the van there's things everywhere i went to get groceries and i didn't know like how much it will fit in the fridge and i've been trying to figure out where to put everything and i'm just feeling overwhelmed but i don't know if we told you we're parked inside of my family's house so it's nice because they have um, a fence and the dogs can like run around and they love it but the weather hasn't helped at all so hopefully for the rest of the time that we're here the weather will be nice i heard that chase told you or show you that he added the composting coconut core thing whatever the name is to the toilet i didn't show you the process so let me just tell you that is more difficult to break apart with your hands than almost anything else I've ever tried. I wish I was here to see that. I was in here using the stand from the GoPro. I was using... What? Yeah. <laughs> I was using scissors. Did you wash all these things? Maybe it was just coconut core. And yes, I did. After saying it was just coconut core, that sounds like you did not no, clean I did. it. I did. Anyway. That was really, really hard to break apart. But it looks good now. It looks like soil. Whatever. We, long time ago, we said whoever uses the toilet first has to clean it. So I have to confess, I've been holding my pee all day. And Chase, I know he has to pee too, and he hasn't pee yet. But it, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I don't we don't know. We haven't ever used a, a composting toilet. That's true. We did just learn that you can put toilet paper in there. That's fine. There are other things that you can't, which is also fine. So so if you have used a composting toilet, let us know in the comments down below some tips and tricks of how you make it work. So you know what? All of that to say, I don't give a crap anymore. I've been holding my pee for way too long. And I'm going to be the first one who's going to use it. So that means I'm going to be the first one cleaning it. Which is fine. I'm going to do it. I'm done. Do it, girl. Don't think about it. Just I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I have to take off my sweater. Why? You warm? <laughs> yeah, I'm stressed. Okay, see ya. <laughs> What's she doing, Jay? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, my question is, do I open? Oh, that hole is open already, right? Which, uh, the pee hole? Yeah. Yes, you make sure you close the number two hole. That's close. Yeah. Okay, this is harder than I thought, Chase. <laughs> I don't have space to put anything. Okay, I'm gonna pee. One, two, three. There it is. There it goes. Oh, that's so loud. It I feel like loud. I'm peeing on a bucket. That, yep, that's good. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't smell bad. No, it smells great! Wow, it worked! Believe it or not, time to cook our first meal in the van has come. What are we making? Of course, we have to make this because it's a staple. We're gonna be making some buffalo cauliflower. So let's get cooking. Amis, guess what? We have the OG Amis of this uh, channel. Let's see who it is. Amigi! 
Van Swap 2.0 coming at ya. <laughs> you heard it here Once first. The borders are open. We're getting these guys up to Canada and we're going to have such an amazing reunion with such good food. And um, mainly just food. Just yeah, food. Just yeah, food. I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure you probably know, Eamon and Beck also build their van at the same time as us. So we're planning on. No, you did not. <laughs> we're planning on swapping bands soon. They just bought a cabin in the woods, so hopefully you will see us driving all the way to Canada to help them out. Yay! Would love it. Would love it so much. So let us know if you would like to see that. Doing dishes in this tiny home. We've definitely come to realize that space is ultra premium uh, these days. Um, there is not a lot of space to go around. And the first day in, I think we're having a hard time figuring out how to work around one another and the dogs. Would you agree? Truthfully, I have noticed that the bus was a mansion. It was insanely big. It was so much space. And now we're in the van, which I think it's gonna take some time to get used to it, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be so much comfortable. I can really tell it's gonna be so much comfortable to travel, and I'm gonna be able to help Chase, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna help us be able to like move to different places where we were not able to go with the bus. And to end on such an honest message. I'm just reminded by this beautiful picture wall of all of the friends that are out there that we haven't seen in a long time and all of the friends that we haven't met yet, you guys, that uh, we really hope that we'll meet you soon. So all of these beautiful faces in beautiful places, we miss you guys. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna clean up, I think, and call it a night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we will see you tomorrow morning, hopefully with better weather. Personally. Look who's back here working on videos. Rose is. I have been tasked with the duty of supplying tea. And I don't know where the tea is, so I've got to find it. Boiling the water first, though. Maybe in here? Oh, there it is. I'm not saying I understand it, but I do it. The cup needs honey in it. Next step, get just some real lime. Thanks, Bobo. Friends, after a long day of working and editing and whew, a cold day for sure, we decided it's the perfect weather to have a fire outside. We're gonna sit all around the fire, have some food and drinks and just enjoy the rest of our night. Isn't it nice to be here in Wisconsin? It's very nice to be here. It's cold. Chase has been cold the whole time. I have, and she's been giving me a really hard time about it. Like I can control whether I'm cold or not. And I'm talking, I'm wearing layers. I know, he's wearing, ah, oh, just two. Yeah, just two. And I'm still, I'm cold. I but think it's these jeans. They're not very thick. Maybe, maybe, but we have the fire here and I don't know, it's just like, Oh, I've been looking forward after we finish the van. Like, look at this, literally. Just flip it around real quick and see our house is right here. Truthfully, we're trying to figure out where to go next after Wisconsin. 
so I would love to know what recommendations. I don't want anything too cold or too hot. Yeah, well, I mean, it's winter, so there's not really going to be anywhere too that's hot. too hot. So yeah. it's just going to be just right or frigid. Yeah, yeah. 